Hello, my name is Emma Thompson and um, I'm here to tell you about an initiative, a foundation, which I'm patron, that I feel very, very passionately about. In 1993, a 12-year-old called Tim Parry and a 3-year-old called Jonathan Ball were both killed by an IRA bomb in Warrington, which is in the north of England. Now, the response to that, of course, was horror and shock and outrage. But what has been so extraordinary is that out of that horrific unbelievable tragedy that you don't feel anyone could recover from. The parents of those children have created something quite incredible. I think that all of us are aware of inter-race and interfaith conflict in this country. You can hardly fail to be aware of it if you watch the news or pick up a newspaper at any time. Therefore, we are all aware of the seminal importance of working out how to resolve these conflicts without violence. I'll tell you what my dream is, what I want. Um, I want the leadership programme that the Peace Foundation um, put into place in a high school in South Leeds. Um, there, there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of children, and there were literally a hundred instances of conflict in the school every single day during which the police could have been called. So what the foundation did was they went in with a leadership program. Now that meant that they took a number of the young people and put them through this program and then those young people fed that program to the rest of the 1,500 or so kids in the school. That school has been transformed by the program. It has gone from having those hundred instances of violent conflict to having virtually none at all. The reason that we do the paper ball war is because what it shows is that we, we literally rally the young people into two oppositional sides and then we invite them to fight with one another. We don't give them any justification as to why they're going to do it and hopefully most of the time they don't ask for that justification and then what inevitably happens is that they get swept away with the moment and they just get involved in something that they're not really aware of and what it illustrates to the young people is that conflict is the type of thing that people who are very, very passionate about, they often just take sides without really thinking about what they're doing and how easy it is really to get swept away with the moment and in a project like this with the young people coming from the kind of school and area that they come from which is a hotbed of conflict really um, this is just a fantastic opportunity for them to take um, some real learning back. I learned, I learned from the football thing was how easy it is to start a fight, how easy it is just to start a war with someone. We have learned more about uh, you know about stereotyping uh, discrimination yeah so and we've learned about teamwork really if you work as a team things work out but focus individuals things things don't work out for you so that's the things and that's uh, and that all people are equal no matter what people say in the stereotyping is all that kind of stuff just respect them if you respect each other things will work out the most surprising things I've learned this week uh, is that I can get on with uh, anyone, with, with any race. The results have been absolutely astonishing, if I'm, if I'm honest with you. Um, on Monday, it was clear to see that the young people were kind of sticking with their own identity groups. They were very much sitting in their comfort zone and staying with their friends. And as the course of the week has gone, the young people have started to integrate with one another fully. And they've been very engaged in the process. I think because of the kind of the different activities that they've been doing to do the learning, everything from role play, through to debating, through to small group discussion, and then interactive team games. It's been an amazing experience just even to see them grow, because you can see that every single individual has taken something, and whether that be that they've been at the forefront of debates, or that they've just been sitting there listening, their participation has been such that everybody will go away from here having learned a great deal, we feel. I think that conflict resolution the capacity to resolve conflict without violence, giving that capacity to young people in the, today's world is the most important gift that can be given. So please think about conflict resolution, think about how important this is, and think about ways in which you can help and you can engage and you can support the Tim Parry Jonathan Ball Foundation. Thanks a lot.